Good morning, everyone. Say good morning to the soggy dogs. Gracie gets a great hairdo when, when it's raining outside. I know, Fergie. You don't like it when I make fun of your hairdo. I know. Hear that? It's the gentle ticking of the my bumbrella. See, this becomes a this becomes a slip and slide when it rains, so we have to walk on the grass. Thankfully, <clears throat> we have a, a wonderful groundskeeper here at Camp Friendly Feather that takes care of the poop in the yard. Most of it, anyway. That's me. I'm I'm the humble groundskeeper. Let's see if we can do this. These magic tricks. Alright, let's see how these chickens are doing this morning. It's a little late. Oh yeah, welcome. Uh -huh. Welcome to my channel. This is uh, Friends of the Feather. Read the description box. You'll see what I'm all about. Or not. That's cool too. Oh, you guys are making a little mud bath. How cute. I gotta go get Chick Start today. I can't wait until I can stop buying the freaking Chick Start. Done with it. See, their butt, their buckets almost out. I was kind of hoping that they would be, uh, they would be onto the layer feed by now, and I wouldn't have to worry about it anymore. I'll have to say that it's a bit cold out here. It is kind of chilly. I think it's like 59 degrees, but it feels a little cooler than that. <clears throat> uh, upper management was bedridden yesterday with uh, allergies. They, uh, they hit him pretty hard yesterday. I think he's going to have to make an appointment with the allergist. And uh, maybe beg, beg for a prescription without an appointment. It's so dumb. We know what's wrong. The tests have been done. I don't understand why he has to go back in every single time. If you are on the phone and they say, has anything changed? Nope, nothing's changed. Okay. There you go. Thank you. I don't understand. I don't get it. But that is the way it works here. So, in this world, <clears throat> man, I mowed the grass yesterday, so I think I got some too. But I've always got this morning goo. You guys know that. Oh, come on, Bumbrella. All right. This is a really nice umbrella. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure where it came from. It's been hanging by my door for a while now. I think I may have got it for my daughter for school. I think that's probably where it came from. So this umbrella has probably been used once. <laughs> Maybe twice. Because um, it, it's funny how you can give people tools and they don't use them. It's, it's incredible kind of cute that way sometimes all right let's check on the buttons I'm kind of excited to see how they're doing check on the buttons check for eggs I didn't bring my basket because I only have two hands which is kind of a bummer I, I, I busted one of the eggs yesterday we got five eggs yesterday and I busted one of them carrying them in and it was really funny because <clears throat> We got two in the early morning, and I took them up in the basket, and I didn't bring the basket back down with me when I came down later to check for eggs, and I came up with three eggs, and two of them were really small. One of them was a pretty nice-sized one. Oh, no, we have quails loose. WTF. Oh, my goodness. Hold on, guys. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Okay. <clears throat> We might have some shaky camera here because I'm shaking like a leaf. These little guys are like mice. <laughs> they skitter so quickly. Okay, so there's five in the cage. I still have one missing. I know I saw two when I opened the door. And God only knows where that little thing is. How in the world did they get out? <laughs> how did that happen? How did they get out? How? <laughs> how, 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 how did they get out? Look, at look, look. How? How did they get out of this thing? What is happening right now? They're magic quails. They're magic quails. 
Oh my God. <laughs> okay. There's one moose in here somewhere. Okay. So you guys are going to help me find it because I have my little flashlight on. I tried to, oh my God, you guys. Oh, oh, I see it. There he is. You see his little face? I see him. There he is. There he is. There's his little face. Okay. Oh my God, you guys. There's no way I, there, look at this. Look at where he's at. He's back here behind all of this accoutrement. There's no what, there's no way I'm getting back there and catching that quail. <laughs> I'm just going to have to wait until he comes out. That's what the other one did. The other convict was this little gray one right here. That one. Yeah, he was, he was the other, the other escapee. So, um, I'm just going to have to wait until it comes out. Oh my gracious, you guys. How in the world did that happen? How did these little dudes get out of here? How, how, how? I want to know. How, 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 how? Uh -huh. How, how, how? Yeah, seriously. How, how, how? I don't understand. I don't get it. I'm, I'm still shaking. I'm, I'm like, I'm like shaking. Every time I have to handle these quails, I start shaking because they're so tiny and they're so quick and they're so slick. Their little feathers are so slick and it, I, they're just next to impossible to catch. I mean, you get them in your hand and then whoop, they slip right out. They're so much smaller than they look. They're so much smaller than they look and you, you have to squeeze them pretty tight to keep hold of them and... It makes me, it freaks me out when I have to handle them because I feel like I'm going to crush them and I'm going, I'm not going to be able to catch them. And that's the way I feel with these guys right now. So I'm going to pause this again and we're going to see if we can find, get this little guy in the cage. We might lose a quail today. It's possible, but I'm fully prepared. It's okay. I will shed no tears. Theoretically, I will shed no tears. Yeah. And Marie's in a panic. We're all in a panic. It's panic time here in Cluckersburg. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll be right back. I found him. <clears throat> he found a little hidey hole down inside one of these bricks. I don't want him to jump out but because they jump straight up when they get scared. But there he is. The quest for the quail has ended, and there he goes. Now he's stuck in this. All right, be back. Got, got to use both hands. All right, you guys, you talk about shaking. Oh, my God. Okay. So, that just happened. You see there's grass on my hand, correct? Okay. Little quail was stuck here in this fencing, right? I got it out. I had it in my hand. <clears throat> Very awkwardly in my hand. His wings were all muffed up. His feet were going everywhere. So, I was trying to readjust him in my hand, and he fluttered straight up. And out the door, you guys. Out the freaking door! I lost my mind. He goes clear over. Hold on, let me put him away. You little escape artist. You little devil. Man, holy crap, how did they get out of here? Okay. I think the chickens and the quails are in cahoots. They're letting each other out of their enclosures. Okay, get in there. My gracious, look at this. Okay. Holy crap, you guys. How did they get... Okay, we're going to have to investigate. That's ridiculous. Okay, so let me re retrace the route. Are you ready? Okay, so it flew. It flew from here, right in this, in this area, in here, all the way over by my poor neighbor's dog's grave and landed right here by this tree, right? That's a ways. Let's, let's walk it. You ready? Here we are. It's a ways over here. I mean, it flew. I couldn't believe it. I, that's why I'm shaking, because I thought for sure it was gone. Okay, so it lands right here, right? I don't want to disturb Muffy's grave. Okay, it lands right here. I felt bad, because I had to walk over here. It's like sacred ground. So, lands right here. So, I go over slowly. Slowly, slowly now, right? Again, goes whoop, flies up, right? Goes over this way and lands clear over here, you guys. These things fly like crazy. Clear over here. Clear over here. <laughs> clear over here. And it like nestled up right here. Right here, right here. 
It was right by this black leaf and it nestled down into the grass. I could barely see it. I didn't take my eyes off of it the whole time it was flying. And when I got over here, it took me a minute to see it because they bl it blended in so well with the grass. And even because, even though I cut my grass, and it, it, this is like the lowest it gets, it was still like the grass was <laughs> still probably a good three quarters of an inch taller than, than the, the quail. Wow, you guys. That was crazy. You quails are crazy. How am I going to, how did that, oh my goodness. Okay. Upper management. <laughs> I need assistance on the quiet, the quail aisle. Oh, how did that happen? If you guys have any ideas about how that could have possibly happened, Seriously, is, are they the are they like the the freaking Chris Angels of the quail, quail world? How did this happen? Look at this. This has no other openings. These are the only openings. This comes open, right? This front right here comes all the way open, and then these lift up. They're they're it's like they're like. Yeah. We've got Houdini. We've got Mr. Angel. <laughs> We've got David Blaine, Siegfried, and Roy. There we go. There's the names for the quails. M magicians. Because I don't know how they're getting... Or wizards. There we go. Merlin. There you go. Merlin. Uh, what are some other wizards? Uh, Merlin. That's the only one I can think of right now. Gandalf. Gandalf was a wizard. I love Gandalf. All right. Good God. 12 minutes of madness this morning. Jesus, you guys, that was crazy. Okay. My heart beats back down to normal. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. Wow. How did that happen? I'm still like, okay, we're going to have to consult upper management and figure out what's going on. Cause that can't happen again. That just gave me a, almost gave me a heart attack when I saw that. Did you see him though? If you go back and watch, you see how they penguin walk that happened to me in the shop the other day. So, okay. So they're in the shop, right? And I have this like, um, grate over top of there. You saw what it was. I think maybe I showed, did a video of that. I had like this sh piece of shelving over top of their, their tub. And so I walk into the, I walk in there to, to check their water and give them food and everything. And there's a, a quail doing the pigeon walk on the floor to my left. I caught it out of the corner of my eye and I was like, holy crap. And it, there was a quail loose in there. And I, I don't know how they're getting out of these enclosures. That's insane. I'm, oh my God, you guys. Buttons! You will be the death of me. All right. So we got to get this figured out. Okay, real quick. You, I'll see. I had to rearrange everything to get that stupid quail out of there. So now everything's in disarray. Okay. Let's move everything back where it was and we'll check for eggs real quick, you guys. I know this has gone long. I really appreciate you hanging in there if you have. Thank you to our 133133. I know, guys. Look at them all. <laughs> Look at all the chickens. They're like all in here like, what's going on? What, 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 what's the commotion? They're all hanging right here. This is funny. I have an audience. You guys are funny. I just love you guys. Okay. Oh, oh, that's because you want to show off your fancy eggs. Your fancy egg laying, girl. Your fancy egg laying. What's up, Chipper Rooney? What's up, big chipster? Big old chipster. All right, there's one. I'm, I don't. I didn't bring my basket. I think. Yeah, that's a faker. What you got? What's up, guys? Oh, just one. Unless you guys have one stashed back there, which I'm pretty sure you don't. These poor chickens. I've noticed that the other chickens aren't really picking on them anymore. Like the the big chickens were picking on them pretty. I mean, not. Not hurting them, but they were picking on him. Look, Jack. Jack just will not be caged. Listen, I've been chasing quails around all morning. I'm not going to chase chickens. 
It's just not going to happen. Get in there. I know, you're just curious. You know what it did to those cats, though? Curiosity. Listen, goobers. Let's go in. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. Go. Scooty, scooty. Come on. Scooty. Sco I know, you get upset with me. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay to be mad. It's okay to be mad. All right, guys. Say bye-bye to the chickens. The pecone chicons. Bye, pecone chicons. Thanks, everybody. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you, 133 subscribers. Have a great day.